Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I first want to say, you know, I apologize for not uploading for the last couple of days. Um, I just got my set, my PC set up and everything. I got a desktop. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh god, oh, and I'm still waiting on more stuff coming. Um, I ran into a little problem with my internet, but just to you know, cut it short and jump into the new Power Up Extension cards. You know, that should be coming soon. Videos will be coming soon. Last thing I want to do is post a video and gameplay of 720p when I have 1080p um, available. So, you know, my internet should be coming soon. By the end of this week, I should be uploading a lot more. Like I said, guys, you know, I've been pretty busy trying to, you know, call them, trying to have them come over and figure it out. So my Bo Jackson gameplay will come. And I might drop a Cam Newman gameplay too. I'm not sure. I might want to see him in the patch uniform. Might be good. But let's jump into the video, guys. Hope you guys understand. And, uh, yeah. So, let's jump to the first card. So, my thing about these, I want to give it a review like I did in the other past videos. I want to get out 10 stars, what I think about it. And I want to compare them to cards that I feel like you know, they're pretty similar. And you might get one for a good deal. You might get another for, you know, a ripoff. So, let's just jump into the video. So, the first person we got right now is, you know, cornerback Antonio Comardi. When I saw this, when I was at work, because I just got off right now, I was pretty excited. It was pretty hyped up. I saw his stats. I like the card. This card is a 10 out of 10. This is a steal right now. You guys should get this card no matter what. I don't care who you got. Get this card right now. I'm going to pick him up for sure. He has 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 98 agility, 98 jumping, 95 play recognition, 98 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, and 96 press. Guys, overall, this is a good card. I mean, around right I sell this card. I already knew who I was comparing him to. It's who I have right now as my number one uh, corner. Who, you know, if the game's online, who I trust to go up and make the big play. Man to man. You know, Denzel Ward. Ward. I said Ward. Denzel Ward. For me, these two cards are really similar. You know, they both have the 97 speed. I believe they both had like the 97, 98 agility. See, their numbers are really close. And remind you that you could put chemistry on this card and make it way better. You know, if I pick up this card, I'm definitely going to put Spurt on him and make sure that he has that 99 speed. And then he's probably going to have, what, 99 acceleration. Another thing I look at when looking at corners is definitely the speed, you know, the acceleration, you know. But no matter what, the bottom three right down here, this, these three has to be all high. Not one can be high and the other one's below. Can't happen. No way. So, 98 man coverage. I can get that to 99 with uh, some of the chemistry, 96 zone coverage. Once again, I can need I can either get that to 98 or 99, 96 press. Same thing. I can basically max out all those stats right there, right there. That's the big three that, in my opinion, you should want. Besides, you know, the speed and acceleration. You know, there's a reason why I don't have Daniel Sanders on my team, even though he's a you know a glitchy card every single year. He's always you know going up, making some you know awesome like lurker plays. My number one thing is I can't man up and press Dion because he, his press is horrible. And I've, I've had so many games where I put him, I'm trusting him to be one-on-one -on -one with Julio, with Odell, with the number one wide receiver, and he's getting burnt down the field on the fade. Can't have that happen. And to Camardi, 10 out of 10, let me know down below what you guys think on this. Calvin Johnson. I saw the I, I saw his stats. Julio Jones. Let's see how tall they are. Six three, six five, six five. Guys, I'm telling you right now. Don't spend close to a million coins. I'm on Xbox. Don't spend too close to a million coins on this golden ticket Julio Jones. Now, yes, I got Julio because he was a free nap card, you know. So I had to pick up Julio. If I can go back, I would actually pick up probably Calvin Johnson at free safety or Troy Palomalu at middle linebacker. Just to be honest with you, there's better wide receivers out there besides these golden ticket cards. You know, already this Calvin Johnson card. Let's just jump into it. Six five. This guy's probably he might as well just play in the NBA. To be honest, 97 speed, 99 jumping, 96 catching, 98 catching traffic. 99 spectacular catch, 96 trap 
catching traffic or short route running, my bad. 94, medium route running, and 98, deep route running. Pick up this car. Do yourself a favor. Don't go for the Julio's. Don't go for all the golden tickets. Don't. This is a car that he's a has to. You know what? Actually, think about it. Most people have Randy Moss and they have their 99 power up pass on them. I'm thinking that you, you, I think besides, you know what, you know, Randy Moss starting out with Moss, obviously, this card is right next to him. And I think he might even be better. The only reason that Randy Moss card is good just because he starts out that building. It's a free play. A free touchdown is really good. But in my opinion, these two cards, you know, Calvin Johnson and Julio, they're really similar in stats. Do yourself a favor. Pick up this card probably le lower than 500k. Obviously, lower than 500k, you can pick up the Calvin Johnson card. Maybe even lower than 3 or 250 for sure. Pick up this card. Don't be picking up Julio Jones. I'm happy I, did, I didn't pay a million coins on for him because I wouldn't have done that. I would have put my million coins, you know, in another golden ticket on defense. But overall, 10 out of 10. Guys, let me know down below. These first two cards, Antonio Carrani, 10 out of 10. Calvin Johnson, 10 out of 10. EA is dropping good expansion cards. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go back. Okay, Akeem Hicks. I'm going to make this short. Don't look at this card. There's better left ends out there. In my last video, I was posting some, I was naming some better left ends. Go watch that video. Give it a like and subscribe to the video. Guys, I don't know. I give this thing a 1 out of 10. I don't know. I can't see anybody that would pick this card up. This guy has 91 speed at the end of Madden 20. Knowing that, 98 finesse move. I can put myself in the game and I'll have better finesse move than them. And better speed. Don't pick up this card. 1 out of 10. Let me know down below what you guys think about this. But 1 out of 10 for sure. 1 out of 10. Okay. Donald Driver. Wide receiver. Let's just jump to the stats. He's 6 foot. 95 speed. 91 jumping. 95 catching. 94 catching traffic. 95 spectacular catch. 96 short route running. 96 medium route running. And 97 deep route running. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this guy should be in the slot. He should not be playing your X or Z position on wide receivers. If you guys know what that is, you know, if you guys actually played football in real life, let me know down below what position, you know, how long, you know, high school, college, let me know. This card, right off the bat, right here, Jerry Rice. Who would I rather pick? I'll probably go for Jerry. You know, Jerry Rice, he's just Jerry Rice. You know, he starts out with his ability. You know, he's a good card. You can probably get this, what, to 5, 6, 7, 97 speed. Same thing over here. But overall, the cards are really similar. Here's stuff to favor. Just get yourself Jerry Rice. He's going to make some glitchy plays. Next card. Mark. I can't even say that. We're going to call him Mr. Pouncey. Center. 99 overall. In my opinion, when looking at centers or any offensive linemen, you got to know your meta. Are you a runner? Are you a passer? Are you both? I flat out, I'm a passer. You know, I'm in the West Coast Gun Bunch every week in the league. So, the number one thing I look at, I don't look at strength. I don't look at awareness. I don't look at height. I don't even look at run block. I look at the middle row, these three. 95 pass block, 97 pass block power, 94 pass block fitness. I don't know. This card's a 50-50 for me. I'm going to give this card a 7 out of 10. I'd say 7 out of 10 because those other centers right now in the game are over expensive. I don't know how offensive linemen at this point of the year, 99 overall offensive linemen are so expensive. Like, come on, EA. You got to you gotta bring that price down. But I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because this card can be good. This card can be good. I can finally add a 99 in my center position. Overall, his stats aren't that bad. It's not the best, but it's not the worst, you know. Let's just look at the run block. 95 run block, 96 run block power, 95 run block finesse. 
not bad stats. You know, if you're a ready team, this bottom row is not bad in stats. You could probably put some abilities on him, chemistries, and bring it up a lot more. But overall, it's like this card is right in the middle. You know, it's not the, it's not the worst, it's not the best. But, you know, can it hurt you picking him up? No, but, you know, can he get the job done? Yeah, he can. I believe this is our last card. Jordan Reed. And before we jump into this, our last card, let me know down below what you guys think about my rating so far. You know, on Antonio Camardi, Calvin Johnson, you know, left ends. You know, tell me what you guys think about, you know, my ratings. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? If you guys disagree, it's okay to let me know. But let me know why. Let me know, you know, in your opinion, you know, would you pick them up? Would you not? So this could be our last card. Sorry if I ran through this video, you know, pretty fast. But... This is tight end 99 overall Jordan Reed. Now, if you ask me, when I look at tight end, this is me personally. And let me know down below who I, when you guys look at a player, when you guys are interested in signing a player to your my team, what stats you look at? You know, I told you what I look at in you know corners. I t I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna look at in you know quarterbacks. I look at speed. I look at you know quarterbacks that can escape the pocket really fast, like a Lamar Jackson and you know Michael Vick. But for tight ends, for me, it's kind of iffy because I really don't pass the ball at tight end. But when I do, I always look at some stats. Number one is the height. You know, is it really important? Is it hit or miss? I mean, if they're short, oh well. If they're tall, oh well. But you know, they're high. You gotta take that into account. You know, you know, Tony Gonzalez. He's a tall guy. Sometimes I throw him the ball, and I don't know how he caught it. He just caught it out of nowhere. So he's six two, ninety speed. 92 strength, 99 catching, okay, 95 catching traffic, okay, 96 spectacular catch, 96 short route running, 93 medium route running, and 69 run block. I'm gonna tell you guys right, right now. If you guys have a running team, if your if your meta is to run, even this late of the year, you know you're enjoying Madden. Don't pick up this card. 69 run block, horrible. But if you guys are like me, you know, it's kind of 50-50 with their tight end. Sometimes you pass it, sometimes you don't. Or sometimes, you know, in near close class, I pass my, you know, tight end the ball. You know, I'm looking at speed. You know, overall, I'm, I'm looking at catching traffic, you know. For the most part, tight ends are never going to be wide open. Unless you have, like, pole streak specialists who roll out and bring down all the, you know, all the, like, defensive coverage. But for the most part, tight ends are always going to be near somebody. I have to make sure that they can catch the ball. I'll tell you guys right now, for me, Tony Gonzalez, he's glitchy for me. For me, Tony, he can catch anything in traffic. But besides Tony, who else I have on my team, it has to be this guy right here. In my opinion, this is the way to go if you want to tight end. You know, with the abilities and everything, you come to what, 4, 5, 6, 96 speed for a tight end? Like I said, most tight ends are never open in this game. But if you're faster than the linebacker right in front of you, that's going to create, you know, a big gap, uh, you know, a big release from him. And that's going to make him open for maybe a small window, but he's going to be open. In my opinion, this card is the way to go. His catch and traffic isn't the best, but like I said, his speed should be able, should give him the power to get a good release on the defensive, uh, you know, personnel. If he's like made up to a linebacker, it's nothing to get open. If he's made up to a corner, Depends if the corner is pressing or not, but most of the time they're not even pressing the corner because then, you know, you just beat him on the outside. I don't know. But overall, this is my comparison comparison to him. Just because I think, you know, this card is better, I think I should go with, you know, Evan Ingram. But overall, you know, this card, out of 10 stars, what I give him, I think like a 6. He's not the worst card, but he's not. Awesome. Would I pick him up? No, because I feel like there's other tight ends up there better than Tony Gonzalez, Evan Engram, George Kittle. George Kittle needs to get a power up expansion card, actually. I bet you guys right now he's next week. But overall, I feel like there's better cards out there for you. You know, why pick up somebody that, you know, that doesn't have all the stats there versus somebody else, you know? But overall, that's going to be the video. Sorry if I ran through this, you know, really quick, but. You know, it's kind of late right now. Um, just got home from work.
But hope you guys understand what I talked about earlier. You know, trust me, gameplay will be coming. I am trying to grow this channel, but I want to do it the right way. I want to make sure I have good quality content. Like this video, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys thought about the video, and let me know down below what gameplay, what you know, you know, video ideas you guys want to see. I can do like an all Redux um, team. I've seen that on the other people's YouTube channel. That's actually pretty smart. I can do you know all. I can do a theme team. I don't know. Just let me know down below. And you know, at the end of the videos, I think I'm gonna tell you guys you know the big you know win of all these that got released. What six or seven cards? I see this Antonio Camari. I feel like this card's gonna be glitchy. I feel like when he dropped it was glitchy. For me, this is a big you know W. 10 out of 10, maybe 12 out of 10 to be honest, 20 out of 10, 100 out of 10, I feel like this card is the way to go, I'm definitely going to pick him up, somebody's going to get cut on my team, I don't know who it is, but I want you guys to know, and I'll probably show you guys to know, maybe a video on my team um, later this week, let me know down below if you guys want to see my team and you know how I construct it and why I have everybody in their position, like, subscribe, and have a good one.